Today I will show you a very special creation. A small island with a lighthouse and a castle made from only two official Lego sets. This is not just my creation, but a collaboration with MIJ Bricks, another mock designer who loves to challenge himself and create new models with limited parts. He did the castle and I did the lighthouse. We worked together online and shared our ideas and progress. We used Z31120 for the castle and added the horse transport 60327 for the lighthouse. This means that if you have the castle set, you can build the castle part of the island and if you have both sets, you can build the whole island. We started this project to have fun and challenge ourselves. The biggest challenge was to use only the parts from the sets. Because we live in different time zones, we split the parts and each of us started building individually. Then we coordinated again and again and exchanged some parts. We motivated each other to improve our models and came up with great solutions. We learned a lot from this project and had a blast. We used almost all the parts from the sets. Only about 100 are left. Now let me show you the amazing features and functions of our model. Come with me on a guided tour of the island. We start with the lighthouse, which has a red and white color scheme with dark blue roofs. It stands on a cliff with a cave below. The cave has a secret entrance from the backside. The lighthouse has a rotating light that uses the windscreen elements to form the glass. I'm very pleased that I was able to fit the function into the small space. There are also two brick-built seagulls on the lighthouse, a reference to the awesome Creator 3-in-1 lighthouses. They are very cute and add some life to the model. The entrance of the lighthouse cabin has stone stairs, a small pier for boats, a lamp and a bench below an apple tree. The bench is a nice spot to relax and enjoy the view of the sea. The pier is where we can find one of the side builds for the lighthouse. A small motorboat with a white and green color scheme. It is made from the big panels of the horse transporter and it looks like it's a bit older and rather slow. The stone-built cottage next to the lighthouse is a bit rundown, but cozy. It has a big window to the sea. Let's take a look inside. Inside there's a fireplace with a tiny model of a sailing ship on the mantel. I'm glad how good this little ship has turned out. There's also a writing desk, a dart target and a bed. The bed is rather simple, but you can certainly spend a comfortable night here. There's also a ladder that leads to the next level of the lighthouse. On the second level there are two small windows with romantic arches above them, for which I used the fenders of the car. On top of the lighthouse there's a platform for visitors. The included telescope is a great way to watch the ships and the birds. There are some other side builds for the lighthouse. A red tractor, a horse and a crate with vegetables. The tractor is very cool and has a working winch that can transport the boat, the horse or just some straw. Now let's move on to the castle, which has a yellow-brown Tudor look with dark blue roofs. It is built on a cliff with a cave below too. The cave has another secret entrance from the backside and a treasure chest inside. The castle can be easily defended from the large platform on top of it. There's also a pine tree and some mushrooms that add some nature to the castle part of the island. The castle has a bigger dock for ships. The entrance of the castle has a beautifully decorated archway with a working portcullis. The portcullis can be raised and lowered with this winch up here. There's also a barred door that leads to a balcony with a torch. The balcony is a nice place to enjoy the view of the island and the sea. Let's go inside the castle and see what's there. Inside the castle there's an armor stand and a weapon rack with a mace, a sword and a spear. The weapons can be used by the castle guards or attract visitors who want to see the medieval craftsmanship. The castle has a living room with a chair, a table and a candle. The chair looks very comfortable. A ladder leads from the entrance to the sleeping chamber with a nicely brick-built sideboard, a fireplace, a stool and the best bed you will ever see. The bed is very luxurious and has a green kilt with a nice pattern. Its frame is carved from wood. There's another candle on the stool. A fire is burning in the fireplace and of course there's a chimney through which the smoke can escape. We have reached the end of our tour of the island. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we do. If you want to build it yourself, you can download our PDF instructions from the links in the description.
See you next time on Balanced Bricks.